Hey guys, this is Ty from Tennessee and I've got a question for you. Do you ever experience motorcycle fatigue? Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you joining me today. And uh, what I would like to talk about is motorcycle fatigue. Do you ever get sick of riding your motorcycle or working on your motorcycle? I think those are two types of fatigue that probably set in at some point for all motorcyclists. So I wanted to jump in and talk about that. And the first one I wanted to go over with you would have to be work fatigue. And by that I'm talking about working on your motorcycle fatigue. For those of you who know how to wrench, do you ever get tired of just working on your bike or working on somebody else's bike trying to fix a problem? I know with me, you know, I'm in IT, so sometimes I just get sick of working on computers and that type of thing and get sick of technology. So I would think if you've got the ability and the skills to wrench and work on your motorcycle, it would be a drag. Now, there's a different perspective, I think, when it comes to motor motorcycle fatigue on that, and that would be this. My first Harley-Davidson motorcycle was a 2018 Road King. I enjoyed that bike, but it had a lot of electrical issues. So when I'm speaking of fatigue, for me, on this one, I didn't have the expertise to work on it mechanically or electronically. Either way, I had to rely on the dealership to do that. And that motorcycle, man, it just kept breaking down because of some electrical issues. And it would have to go to the dealership and they would try to fix it. And they really, White Lightning really did a great job trying to figure it out. And ultimately, they did. But I, really, I got so tired of waiting on the bike to get repaired and I think it would be that way with anyone because I just started riding motorcycles again bought this Road King and I was ready to ride and the bike just wasn't ready to go and that caused a lot of fatigue and angst on my part it's just because I didn't want to wait around and get my bike fixed so I'm wondering does that make sense to anybody and have you guys experienced that at all let me know in the comments below if you don't mind and then the type of fatigue that I think we all experience at some point, and that's, man, I'm just tired riding this bike. You know, I've, I've been on this motorcycle for, you know, 12 hours or whatever, and I'm just tired. I want to get off and stretch my legs and, you know, kick my feet up and that type of thing. I think we all experience that at different levels and, and different time. You know, I know with me personally, the experience that I can think of, I can think of a couple of different times I had motorcycle fatigue, and I'll, I'll discuss those with you real quick. The gentleman there in front of me, that's Eric, and uh, we rode our motorcycles to Florida a couple of years ago, and the ride down there wasn't bad, but I know there was a, when we met up with the hog group, and so we were riding around with them from place to place, and there was one or two days during our week-long stay man I didn't even want to sit on the motorcycle I was tired I was tired of riding I just wanted to jump in the car with somebody wherever we were going and that type of thing and that type of fatigue set in with me and then after the long trip home you know we had to ride our box back home I was really fatigued there too and uh, it, it wasn't long before I was ready to ride. I probably needed maybe, I don't know, two or three days or something like that just to kind of recruit, recoup and, and stay off the bike and do my own thing. And then I was, the next weekend, man, I was ready to hop back on and ride again. So is it that way with you guys? How long of a ride before you really start feeling fatigued and you just want a, a day or two off from your motorcycle? So the other one that I can think of is when we went to VAM 21 last year. Winnie and I trailered the bike and we went up there. So I didn't have that long trip of riding the motorcycle to Virginia, but it rained on us every single day. I mean, it poured on us. Every ride, just about every minute of the day, every single person 
who rode their motorcycle to van was drenched and that's just the way that it was if you ride motorcycle sooner or long sooner or later that is going to happen to you but i was really sick of being soaked to the bone on my bike you know i was just kind of craving some good sunshine some good weather and that type of thing and didn't really want to experience riding in the rain another day you know and being cold and being wet and having <laughs> soggy shoes and my rain gear was busted so that made it miserable and fatigued me even more so those two factors are what i think of when it comes to motorcycle fatigue when it comes to riding weather conditions and uh, a length of a ride so what about that topic have you guys ever been on a ride and experienced any type of motorcycle fatigue in that way let me know in the comments below well everyone i appreciate your time very very much today as we discuss this topic of motorcycle fatigue if you would please like this video and if you enjoy CBO and Sportster S related content, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon.